Look there. Where? Look, beyond the rock. What am I supposed to see? Professor Dibbett had that ling planted when he was headmaster. Oh, yes, indeed, indeed. And all the strawberries, you see. Strawberries? I see no strawberries. Over there. Where? <laughs> Over there, look. Oh, this way. Get this over, please. All right. Then where is it? I saw the bees just now. Not a moment to go. How extraordinary. A peak. Oh, come now, Dumbledore. Someone's obviously the least. I don't think the minister was suggesting that you had anything to do with this, Hagrid. After all, how could you? You've been with us all the time. Well, wait. Well, well, we must search the grounds. Well, search the skies, if you must, minister. Meanwhile, I'd like a nice cup of tea or a large brandy. Oh, executioner, your services are no longer required. Thank you. You'll find no small glasses in this house. Enjoying himself. Yeah. Hermione. Yeah? Before, down by the lake when I was with Sirius, I did see someone. That someone made the Dementors go away. With the Patronus, I heard Snape telling Dumbledore. According to him, only a really powerful wizard could have conjured it. It was my dad. It was my dad who conjured the Patronus. But Harry, your, your dad's... Dead, I know. I'm just telling you what I saw. Here we come. You see Sirius talking to me there? Mm-hmm. He's asking me to come and live with him. That's great. When we free him, I'll never have to go back to the Dursleys. It'll just be me and him. We can live in the country. Some place you can see the sky. I think he'll like that after all those years in Azkaban.
Professor Lubin's having a really tough night. Serious. Come on. Any minute now. Right there. You'll see. Harry, listen to me. No one's coming. Don't worry, he will. He will come. It wasn't my dad I saw earlier. It was me. I saw myself conjuring the Patronus before. I knew I could do it this time because, well, I'd already done it. Does that make sense? No. But I don't like that. Ha, ha, ha. 